Hey guys, Scott with another Tool Thought. Uh, today we're going to talk about another new little bag that uh, was sent to me by the good people across the pond at uh, Velocity Pro Gear. Uh, this is the Rogue 2.0. Um, as you can see, it's a smaller bag if you've watched my previous videos on their bags. I started out with the, I believe it was a Rogue 6.0, and it was huge. Held a lot of tools, but the, the weight was just killing my back. Uh, so I dropped down to the Rogue 9.0, which uh, is probably my latest tool bag tool tour video. And uh, it's, it's about right. It's about 55 to 60 pounds fully loaded, and that is my install bag. Um, this I use as a service bag. It's really light and nimble, and uh, I can carry it into a job every time instead of, you know, it being so heavy that I don't want to carry it in. I just automatically take it in. It's so light. Um, I figured what I'd do is show you what I've got inside, and then we'll talk about the bag once it's completely empty. So, uh, as you can see right here, I got... Uh, some Purell. Uh, I'm an AV technician. We do everything from cameras to security systems to smart homes, control four systems, and uh, we touch a lot of remote controls. So it's important to me to have Purell because I've encountered all kinds of skerflunkus on people's remotes from garlic butter to chicken grease to who knows what. So that's why that's there. Uh, Pika, Pika Dry Pencil. For whatever remember this is a service bag so mostly for service calls or call outs as you call them over there in the uk uh got a level on this side um you know for for tv adjustments and such and i've got a a zip tie holder it's a zip tie clamp clamp to the side of the bag um as you can see, I've um, I've done some modifications and added a couple of loops here on the on the back here on this side. Uh, I've got a tape loop, and I've got one here on this side for the specifically for the Purell. I added those. You just drill through there with some with a hot drill bit. Put a uh, a nice flathead screw there on it, and um, and I've got two on that side, and that's how you do that. Uh, there is no tape measure loop, so this just kind of, there's an empty, there's like a pocket here. I'm not sure what it's for, but I, I just keep my tape measure on it and, uh, you know, a little box of, uh, let's see, I don't even know how you get this thing open. <laughs> there's an arrow pointed to it, but, oh, there it is. That's just some quick, you know, RJ45 crystals for Cat 6, Cat 5, some some things you might need on some service calls in there. It's just a small deal. Got this on here so it's easy to pull out. It's not really made for that, but it's perfect for, for right there. Uh, that looks like everything on the outside of the bag. Uh, it comes with this nice padded shoulder strap. Typical velocity quality. You guys know where I stand on there on that. I think it's right up there with, uh, with Vito, absolutely. Uh, there's some nice leather. Uh, lots of cool things about this bag. Uh, oh no, that's not everything on the outside. I got a couple places for markers here. And uh, this this uh, pocket on the side is the perfect size for this little Kiwi's cell phone size multimeter that, that is perfect for just, you know, quick service calls. The leads are inside there. And uh, it's the absolute perfect size for that. You won't get anything bigger than that in there but um it's perfect for that uh there's a hard case here and what i keep in there is my network tester because it it's uh it's a tempo and it has a uh, push buttons are the worst for power because they get bumped all the time and then when you go to use it you have dead batteries so this hard case this this hard shell on the outside keeps that from happening uh, so that's in there. And if I can get it back in, that'd be great. There we go. So that's that's the outside. Um, the hand handle at the top there 
uh, does not release like their other bags do. So it just, you know, you can't release it on either side like you can on the other bags. Um, but it's fine. Uh, you, you just unzip the front. There's no back compartment to it, just a front compartment. Um, so, like I said, a lot of these tools I have in my install bag, my main bag, but uh, I went and bought, you know, a reasonable quality doubles to have in this bag for service calls. So, there's a uh, RJ45 crimper, coax stripper, I got a zip tie gun. Uh, there's a Vera Tool Check Plus in there. That's the SAE version because most of the hardware for uh, TVs and mounts and things are metric. Um, and now I've got this skill little 4-volt driver, which is pretty cool. Uh, I usually carry a Milwaukee in the install bag, but I'm trying to keep weight down in this. So I figure on a service call, I'm not going to be doing a lot of heavy driving. Uh, this is kind of cool when you, um, the red means it's locked. I don't know if you can see it and that you can use it as a standard driver, but if you push and hold, you can select the torque setting all the way, you know, from one to three. Uh, you can tilt the head 45 degrees, uh, just basic forward and reverse. Uh, there's a little window there where you can see the guts moving. I don't know why they did that. It's kind of cool. Uh, and this is USB-C rechargeable. And I stuck a couple of spider bit holders on there. Sorry, having a little trouble with the camera. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Glue gun for anybody that knows when you stick a, an IR emitter onto a TV or a, or a component. After a while, they fall off, so we just hot glue them in place. Standard pair of Nipex dykes. Pair of pliers or grips or nut fuckers, as you call them over there in the UK. I've got a uh, Fluke Intellitone toner probe. Fluke outlet tester to see if power is present at outlets where components are plugged in. Uh, Mega Pro tweaker screwdriver, four millimeter bits. Uh, I got a Heiko tweaker. Uh, it's like a an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch tip. Same thing with this snap on. You can't have too many tweakers. Klein punch down tool. Pair of Knipex pliers wrenches. Set of curved hemos. Coax fitting crimper, compression fitting crimper. I love the climb because it's cheap and it's infinitely adjustable. I've had this one a good long time. Uh, this here is just a, a scoring stripper for cat jackets, cat, uh, cat five, cat six jackets. Ratcheting screwdriver. This here is a doll villa. Very nice. Very smooth. The only thing I don't like is, to me, the ratcheting mechanism is is backwards. If I turn it this way, then I should be going forward, but I'm not. Um, I'm used to the snap-ons being that way. And there's a marker in there, and uh, there's just a little catch-all bin here. Um, it's their standard clear... You know, dealio. I keep extra IR emitters in there. Um, there's a pocket here on top on the outside. I keep uh, Cat6 patch cables in here and a couple of HDMIs. Just stuff that I, you know, would need for, for quick service calls. Uh, it looks like that's about it. Um, so that's what the inside looks like. You've got a zipper pocket here. You've got some of their neoprene, a uh, little shallow uh little pockets here and then you've got all these uh the, the big ones down here at the bottom are also neoprene um 
that's it. I mean, as usual, the Velocity stuff is top-notch, first-rate. Uh, they did send me this free of charge. They, they put no restrictions on me, you know, demanding a, a good review or whatever. I'm just telling you my thoughts. I've had it for a couple of months. It's working out perfectly. Uh, you know, if you can get a hold of a Velocity bag, I, I highly encourage you to do so. Uh, you got to go to VelocityProGear.com. Now, the problem is they don't usually ship to the states. You know, you can't select it off their website, but you can email them for a shipping quote to your location, and they'll provide it with you. It's been tending to run a little expensive, uh, but um, you can get it done if you want it bad enough. Uh, Tony Porter over there has been great. Um, say hello to him if you, you know, if you if you get it, get an occasion to talk to them over there. Um, that's gonna do it, guys. Velocity Pro Gear. This is the uh, Rogue 2.0 service bag. Uh, like and subscribe. Questions, you, anything you got, ask me in the comments. I'll I'll do my best to get back to you. And thanks for watching.